Okay. So in the yesterday session, what we did, we completed the uh, withholding tax configuration and we tested how withholding tax invoice will is getting generated, right? And for recurring invoice, also we discussed. We completed these setups and we generated recurring invoice. And we covered expense report invoice concept also. For that, these are the setups we completed. Based on the setups, we created expense report. From the expense report, we generated expense report invoice. When we try to generate, generally, it will convert employer supplier, but cannot generate the expense report invoice. The same based on the setups. For that, what we did for the employee, which employee is created as a supplier. For that employee level, we enabled default payment method and again we submitted the program called as expense report <coughs> export program and by selecting the source called as payables expense report right so finally system generated expense report the same we come through right done <coughs> today's session so what are the other invoice types are left written as release invoice if I take this written as release invoice. So what is the purpose of written as release invoice? What is the business case we use written as release invoice? Already we discussed. Basically when we are into service contracts with our supplier. Say we need some service, we have some contract or agreement or some terms with the supplier saying that so we are ready to pay based on the what are the quotation whatever quotation is finalized and the price is finalized but within that uh, terms we may have the terms which says will be holding some amount from the each and every invoice which we pay to the supplier and based on the terms you may release that amount after some time take simple example we are going to take some service for six months every month we agreed with the supplier to pay one lakh rupees but finally what happened we have other condition within that saying that yes we are ready to pay every month one lakh but we are not very sure about how the work you are going to deliver we have to check we have to do the auditing and all after completing three months or four months or completing the entire task which is assigned then if everything is uh, fine uh, just will be found as a expected then we'll be releasing that amount whatever we are going to hold in that case we may say from every invoice we want to hold 25% 1 lakh instead of 1 lakh, you are liable 1 lakh, but you will be paying only 75, 75 you know, from every invoice every month remaining the amount whatever you are holding for 6 months around 1.5 lakhs, right? That amount you may release after a certain period, what are the terms you are going to have with the supplier? What are the amount you are going to hold from every invoice? That amount if you want to release, in that case we use written as release invoice. To execute this, what setups we have to do in the system, we'll see first. Okay. Fine. So what setups we require? So to handle this case, first say create document style. Okay, so document styles and provide <coughs> retinage accounting financial options basically these are the setups and when you talk about process to understand this process what we'll do is we'll create purchase order okay we'll create the purchase order Require to create receipt, otherwise not required, but just to understand this process. Okay, you may just, depending on your process, if receipt applicable, will create and otherwise not required. But in the current case, I'm not going to create the receipt. The reason is for this testing and all receipt is not required. Okay, so I'll create the purchase order and say we created purchase orders. We'll take simple example here. Okay, we'll create the purchase order for so the current user current uh, employee has a approved limit of how much one lakh. one lakh so i'll take one lakh one lakh and against that purchase order you can have one or multiple invoices right you may just for every month you may get one invoice okay or else for total amount you may get invoice one time that any scenario you can take 
but here anyway we are going to test to understand the functionality what i'll do is i'll create invoice also one time or else you can create multiple invoice each invoice will be matching with the purchase order by matching the invoice with the purchase order will be creating so that whatever the amount we want to hold that amount system will calculate and it will be showing but in this scenario what we'll do is uh, we'll do as a two transactions okay say for example for two months we are going to take some service or else two invoices i'll say i'll create create invoice with 50000 this invoice will create by matching with po match with po i'll take simple example here when you are creating the purchase order we'll say how much amount you want to retain from this say i'll just i'll give you 10 percent okay against this purchase order if any service supplier is going to deliver what we'll do we'll hold 10 percent remaining amount only will be paying the rest of amount whatever we are holding after audit or some quality check only will be paying to the supplier take this example so we'll create the invoice with the 50000 and we'll match with the po whenever you match in the po level we given 10 percent right that will be applicable on this invoice now what happens how much amount system will reduce 5000 minus well when you match uh, this invoice with the po it will reduce 5000 then how much we can pay to the supplier from this 45000 45, that's it. We'll be paying 45,000. That means we are holding 5,000. 5, now we'll create one more invoice. Okay. 50,000 will match again here also. Same case. Because this invoice also will create by matching with the PO. And here also it will reduce. Then now how much we have to pay and how much we paid? We have to pay 1 lakh. But we paid only 90,000. 10,000 we are holding. The amount whatever we are holding if you want to release at any point of time. Maybe based on your terms and the conditions, whatever you have with the supplier and other considerations. So if you want to make the payment, how much is held with us? 10,000. 10, if you want to release this 10,000, you will create retinage release invoice. Create retinage release invoice. How much amount do you hold it? 10, if you want to release 10, you can release. Otherwise, you can release partial amount also. That is possible. Okay, anything you can do. Whatever you are hold it, that amount will be releasing. If required, you can <coughs> release partial amount also from hold it amount. So, but in current case, we will test by just releasing 10,000. That's it. Here, when you create invoice, we'll look at the payment process also. If you select this invoice for payment, system will select only 45,000. But for this invoice also, 45. And finally, we'll just create a written release invoice to release the folded amount. That's it. Okay, clear, right? We have to create the document styles and we'll create the, we'll provide the written account in the financial options. And then we'll create the purchase order. We can ignore the receipt creation because we, we are going to test this case by matching with only PO. Fine, we'll, we'll try to understand what is the purpose of this. So create document style. What does it mean? So when you are going document means it can be purchase or equation, right? But now we are the document style in the sense we are talking especially uh, is, it's related to purchase order. So when you create the normal purchase order, you know very well whether you can provide the retinage percentage or not. You cannot provide retinage related information because we don't have such kind of appeal. Through document style, what you can do is you can give the permission. You can set some option saying that whatever the PO we are going to create within that we want to enter. <coughs> so we want to enter <coughs> retinage amount, retinage amount, retinage amount. <coughs> so that we can enable in the document type level, document style level. The same the system will allow us to provide the retinage related percentage or our amount. So that is the reason we are going to set it up. And when you talk about retinage account, what we'll do is, so when you are doing this process, from every invoice, if you create invoice with a 50,000, what system will do? It will take 50,000, I given 5,000, sorry. I have been so five, yeah, correct. 50,000, so 50,000 normally it has to be, the system has to take expense and the same liability, right? Debit expense and credit liability. But in the scenario, the system is going to take 5,000 it should take into retinage. That is the reason 
the for five thousand to capture that five thousand as retinage, we have to give the retinage account code combination, the financial option. So whenever you do this activity, five thousand. This is as per this current example. This five thousand will go and hit that account. So that that amount will be maintained separately to process as a retinage release amount. Okay. So <clears throat> that's what we'll be doing. When you talk about purchase order, when you see the normal purchase order, we created standard purchase order, right? So in the standard purchase order, we cannot provide any retinage related information. To create this kind of retinage related uh, kind of to keep some terms, something like retinage percentage or amounts, we have a separate PO that also will be creating against as a standard purchase order. But the process wise, that uh, concept wise, we call as complex purchase order form. We have a separate form called as complex, complex purchase order form. Through that form only, we will be creating this PO. We know how to create the PO from the standard, right? We have seen. We auto generated. Anyway, we'll see how to create through manual process. We'll be seeing that. So, but the simple point to create this kind of, I mean, to create to mention this kind of retinage related information, we cannot use a standard PO form. For that, we have to use complex, complex purchase order form. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You just you can directly enter. No permissions. Okay. And you are coming late, right? Just you can enter. <clears throat> so done. So that that's all about. Just these, these are the setups. These two setups will support. This will support. It will open some fields where you can enter the retinage percentage. And this account is required when you create the invoice to hit that retinage percentage, retinage related amount. And when we talk about this purchase order, it's not the normal purchase order which we create. This process wise, this purchase order we call as Complex purchase order which allows us to keep some additional information, example, retinage related information. <coughs> then, once we're done with that, as we discussed, we'll create the say we just taken some service from the supplier for 50,000. So, with this purchase invoice, we'll cre uh, create against the PO. The PO level will be given 10%. Accordingly, the invoice will get generated. 10% means 5,000 will be holded. Only 45,000 you can pay to the supplier. Again, next case also, next invoice also will take the same example. We'll create finally 45, 45, 90 will be paying 10,000. We are holding what is the amount you are holding whenever you want to release to the supplier. Use invoice type called as retinage release invoice. What is the business case? Generally, this happens in case of services, even for goods also, it is applicable. But most of the scenarios you'll see when you deal with the supplier to render the services, we'll have some terms and conditions. That may fall into this kind of scenario also. Okay, if you understand the concept, when you understand, when you understand this concept, then when you are working, if you when you are when you get the information, when you get requirement from the client, easily you will be able to map. Easily will be you can think okay for this kind of requirement we can use a feature called as retinage release. Okay, so that's how you will be able to uh, just uh, provide the solution based on this. So now first we have to do. Document style creation. Say create document style. <clears throat> so create document style. Okay, so create document style. Switch to purchasing. I think you are an AP, right? Switch to purchasing. Take the navigation setup purchasing. Okay, setup purchasing. Document styles. Set of purchasing document styles. Set of purchasing document styles. So here we can create the document to whatever we require. Okay. Why we are going to create, you will be understanding now. Okay. Just click on create.
So our requirement is when you are creating the purchase order, say when you are creating the standard purchase order, within the standard purchase order, we want to include retinage related information. Okay, for that reason, this template we are going to create. Here I'm going to give the name as call free document document style means document or else you can say call free standard and standard purchase order anything you can buy. I'll write as a call free standard PO for the purpose is within that standard PO creation time we want to include the written age related information okay so here we have a standard purchase order even the field is not mandatory you should treat as a mandatory display name is mandatory I'm going to give the same name Take simple points. You don't have to think too much on these points. Nothing. Just give the name and which type of purchase order we are going to create? Standard. standard. So here already standard is enabled, but display name is mandatory. You have to provide. Field wise, it's not mandatory, but process wise, mandatory. Without giving that, you cannot save it. Done. Now, through this purchase order, what you want to capture for what purpose or services? For services, please. So here by default goods we have you can disable goods through this purchase order. I don't want to uh, capture any goods related information only for services. services. Sometimes you may have requirement. Sometimes you want to uh, capture the goods information. Sometimes services or sometimes both also. In that case, you can enable service, service also and temporary labor. If you are outsource, if if you are taking some resource from other outsourcing company, in that case also. You get you say you need 10 resources in that case you have to place the order to that outsourcing company right in that scenario you can use this temporary labor related option also but current scenario i am not going to use this for goods and all just for services services enable services or else you don't need to uncheck that goods apart from that enable services okay done enable services so what you want to capture when you are creating this purchase order yes you can provide all the information apart from that you want to capture written age related information so here we have written age checkbox enable it take all the points once you enable it will be opening few more options okay once you enable written age it is enabling progress payments and here it is giving lump sum amount that means you are going to set from this PO, I want to hold this much amount. If you want to sell this much amount, a specific amount, you can enable it. Otherwise, if you want to give the rate percentage, you can enable it. If you want to go with only percentage, you can uh, disable lump sum amount. Or else, any option, the two should be available. Sometimes your requirement may be you want to give some fixed amount, how much you want to hold from the PO, or else it may be like you want to hold based on the percentage anything just I'm just accepting this too so make sure that you are enabling rate nothing but percentage that is percentage then click on apply okay then click on apply I think in the last session we discussed somebody said they'll be giving presentation right I think that guy is not here today it happened that uh, discussion today also we'll plan for some presentation afternoon okay but then just simply say apply then template will be created template we are creating that document style means template we are creating by selecting the retina related parameters you simply you can call them as a parameters or options so that when you use this template or document style to create the actual purchase order within this order the permissions we given those permissions will get applicable in the process so that we will be able to capture retina related percentage how much you want to calculate and all that's it say apply okay say apply fine <coughs> fine done now what is the next step Sorry, just we have to provide written age release account in the financial auction. What is the purpose? When you create the invoice, 
when you create the invoice system will be holding the amount as a retainage amount that amount should be maintained against specific account that account only retainage account okay that you are using the operations value set right for account so that account is available so just directly you can go and do select it <coughs> so here one second financial options you can navigate from purchasing also right what is the navigation from purchasing set up options set up purchasing not payables from purchasing also we did the setup right then there is no uh, proper answer uh, setup organization financial options are purchasing options no no not required what we are discussing you tell me okay setup organizations financial options what i am asking financial options only right why you are telling purchasing options from purchasing how to set i am asking <coughs> okay we discussed the same point right retained earnings account the retainage account we have to give in the financial options from purchasing what is the navigation this is the navigation from payables set up options, options financial options i don't know some there are few guys just they never open their mouth to answer something that you will see good results because of that <coughs> set up organizations financial options. here you have to provide the retainage account okay i am requesting once again just when i am asking please okay i am not asking respect me respect that uh, concept or the subject and please respond to that retainage select account which account retainage account just say okay provide retainage account Okay, then that's all. I think else, even it's a field is optional, but as per process, since we are implementing the retainage concept, we have to provide it as a mandatory. Okay, then save it. Completed. What is next step? Any other setups? No. Now we have to get into the process. Remember, only these are the two setups. Two setups means what is the meaning of setup? Which we do one time, which we do one time, which can be supported for the the transactions which you record daily basis or whenever you require. <coughs> okay. So that is the point. What next step? What we discussed? Create, 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 purchase, purchase order. order. Okay, we cannot handle this kind of scenario with a normal purchase order which we create. This has to be created as a complex purchase order. Say record complex purchase order. Create complex purchase order. Okay. Create complex purchase order. Okay. Take the navigation. <coughs> we are in the purchasing. This is the navigation. Buyer work center. Navigation is buyer work center orders. Okay. Buyer work center orders. Okay, we are going to create complex purchase order. It's it's like similar to standard purchase order only, standard purchase order only. But because of the template, a document style which we created, it it will give the options to add some additional information. And all together, this will be opened in the web page. Standard purchase order in the form only, right? Yes. But this will be open in the web page where you can add, capture some additional information also. 
So one second, it will open. If you know how to create the purchase order, you can create it. Anyway, we created through automatic process, right? Yes. Let's see how to create here. Then finally, will be anyway in the process. We have many concepts to touch purchase order creation. We'll see how to create the manual purchase orders. Now, to create the complex purchase order, what we have to do is here you have to select your document style. What is the document style name we given? Call free oh, standard PO, right? Click on this drop down option. Follow and take each and every point. That's very important. You have to make a note. If you want to practice and if you want to get uh, more comfortable, if you want to be more comfortable with the setup process and all, you have to do practice. For that, you should take all the points. Okay, just click on here. We have a create, right? So yeah. click on drop down, then select yeah. more. Just search for your document yeah. style. Call free. Call free standard PO. Then select it. Instead of <coughs> clicking on uh, radio option, select and to select directly, you can go with the quick select. With one click, it will get selected. Otherwise, two clicks. Select, select. Right? Instead of that, directly go with the quick select. We select it. Now, what we are trying to do is by using this, we, when we are creating the standard purchase order, uh, the call free standard PO document style, within that, Standard PO option is already selected for that we given display name, right? That we should remember. That means we are going to create standard purchase order only. We are going to create standard purchase order only. Then click on go. Okay, so this is added information. You know, PO header information, you know, right? Save header information. There you can select the supplier. Who is the supplier? Fusion. Just use some name and tab out, it will fetch and it will default site and other required information also. Select it. Use supplier name, automatic system will take supplier site and other information. See, it is taking build to location and do shift to location since we given in supplier. 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 Side level. level side not supplier level just we given supplier just we given where we simply just where we given through purchasing there will be on hyperlink called as purchasing we given for the purpose of auto PO creation but here also everywhere that will be useful okay done that's all here you don't need to give anything just if you select supplier it's just will default everything buyer is mr Coty and uh, just will to ship to all the information is taken now go to lines <coughs> select lines tab Go to line step. <coughs> okay, here fixed price, or else you can remove and you can select as a service. It's a line type. In the invoice, normal invoice, you will see that when you are creating the manual POS, so I'll show you once again. Fixed price, yes, here it's applicable. Here I'll write the description as a service. Category, select any one of the category, not an issue. Because normally, this whatever the type or whatever the whatever you are selecting that is belongs to each category. This is the concept of purchase, purchasing, but we don't need to focus on that much. Just there will be one category called as miscellaneous. You can select since we are testing, there won't be an issue. Select as a miscellaneous. And there will be two fields within that or else cancel directly you can type here MISC dot means two fields will be there two segments those are so this is the one this category you can select as default and here just provide the price what is the price amount total amount because it is the item and all goods and all it will be asking how much quantity and what is the price but here we are giving direct type as fixed price Fixed price for service, whatever you will be getting. So that is the reason. You don't need to give that. Simply you can say one lakh. Price I given one lakh. Okay. Clear, right? See, the all system is defaulting. Just I written the description as a service, or else you can say service contract. Anything. 
service contract you may provide need by date and all if required okay so then click on update icon click on update icon Click on update icon. Okay, the line related information is opening. Whatever we given the same, you can see fixed price service. Okay, service contract what we written. Category is this price. This is what we given. Now other information written is right in the document style level. We enable that. Okay, written is right. So that section you can see here. There we have two two check boxes we enable. One is Rate and other one is lump sum amount. The same the minimum written age amount. That is nothing but lump sum amount, direct amount you can enter. Otherwise, you can give the written age rate. I'll give 10%. Give 10%. Here you can provide PO charge account. Okay, here you can provide PO charge account. Okay, provide your charge account. Select account. So check on JBS clear user. One four. One zero you can select the same. And just say create and select the code combination. Just provide a pure charge account, that's all. Nothing else. Already you have seen that pure charge account when you are creating the same. Again, it's not going to be new learning for us. Okay, select and when you are going to create invoice against this PO, which matching you want to use? Already we tested two way matching, three way matching, right? Now this will use for two way matching, two way matching, four way matching will test later. But basically, now <coughs> primary thing is in the PO level, we given since the service our major focus just you can go with the PO related. Okay, so here I can just select match action, match approval level as two way matching. In case of two-way matching, we'll create invoice against. Please tell me, like purchase order, right? So select, and you have a like two-way matching. Select as a PO. That's all. So in this page, what information you are giving? Retainage rate, PO charge account, and match option under matching option. Invoice, I mean, what type of matching under invoice match option? That's all. After providing this information, you can save it. Okay. Then say apply. Okay, create it. Now, next tab is. Yeah. Pay items. Same information will be defaulted. Anyway, let's go and see that. Just click on select pay items. So whatever the information we given in the line level, the same it's defaulting, right? Here, line type it is showing as a lump sum. Whatever we given in the template level, enabled. Okay, the same based on that only we given one lakh amount and everything we given done. And even if you click on this update also at pay item level, same information will get defaulted. Same, whatever we given from here, you can see two matching and this all the options you can see. All the these all are like uh, it's a days early late receiving related uh, controls. See here, receiving controls, receiving option related information will be defaulting. And retinage and all you don't see from the page, retinage percentage and all you don't see here already. Which that you can find only line level. So, we'll say apply or cancel anything. We are not doing any changes now. The next tab is distribution. distribution. So distribution means just already we provided a charge account, right? Line level only we entered. Charge, charge account the same is getting defaulted. The rest of everything is remain same. Okay. If it is going to be some goods and all, where we have to deliver and all, we have to provide the delivery location. Current scenario, you can think it is not applicable. This is service, right? So it's not applicable, but if you want to provide the location, you can provide nothing wrong. Okay, but just for information, if you are dealing with the goods and all, in that case, definitely that will be mandatory to provide. Okay.
so this is how we have to create the purchase order with the process called as complex purchase order creation <coughs> okay means this all additional information that is related now we create we completed but few creation now we have to submit for approvals okay we have to submit for <coughs> approvals to submit for approvals click on submit Okay, just click on submit. See the message call free standard PO PO number two has been submitted for approval. approval. Okay, <coughs> now what we can do is we'll go and see the status of the approvals. So, directly from here, you can take the navigation to see that what is the approval, what is the status for our PO. So, take the navigation purchase orders, purchase order summary. With this navigation, you can find the status of PO. Okay, with this navigation you can find the status of PO. Navigation is purchase orders, purchase order summary. So you want to find which PO? You want to know the status for which PO? PO number? PO number? Two, right? Just now we gone through that the message. Still, if you say one house, one already we created two days back, right? Just give the PO number, then click on find. Just scroll little right. See the status. Why it is approved? Within the limits. Who created? Koti created this PO, and Koti has approved limits up to 1 lakh. How directly you given for Koti one lakh? Then how? Any one, any one group answer is not required. It's not valid also anywhere. Anyone? This is the fourth or fifth time I'm asking this, and the fifth time also same answer from your side. How system is understanding? We have assigned one lakh limit to Koti. Where? Can you show me that? I'll open whatever you want me to open. I'll just open. Can you show me that? That's what I'm asking. If you are not preparing, these are the answers we'll be giving. Please don't mind. That is a fact. You tell me at least because you should have interest because name your name only we are using, right? Tell me. Because that's your name only, right? Please tell me at least. Your answer also same, huh? We given to Koti. How we given? Where we given? Please. Anyone? Now one lakh approval limit for Koti. How we given? I didn't select any Koti name and I didn't enter one lakh, right? But the logic we built. How we built? Nobody is preparing. No, no doubt on that. We have entered the supplier in that supplier side we have entered the oh, like irrelevant answer. In what supplier, supplier side? I am talking about co TV employee, you are talking about supplier side. In group, so we created by year one lakh. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's true. Statement is correct. Yeah. I need answer. So we have uh, assigned that approval Peace, 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 it will be framed as an answer. Huh? One person, one statement, other person, connectivity point. And so when you go for interview, all will go and sit for one offer. Let him answer, please. Uh, assign. Assign approval group to 
Approval in approval group, what you have? In approval group, uh, 40, 1 lakh we have. 41 lakh we have given. By year. By year. Don't say all those things. We given approval limit. The approval group we given approval, approval limit. limit. Okay. Approval group you are assigning to? By year. Assigning to job. Assigning to? Job. Job. Uh, then? That is the actual point which is required now. No, 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 please. Why? Please, that is important. Otherwise, if you know setups, anyone can learn the setups. The logic you have to understand. We, I am explaining and telling. This is the third time, fourth time I'm asking questions. Still, you are not ready. Up to that, correct. There is a connectivity. The okay. next point only the connectivity will get established. That's how system will understand. Now for Koti, Koti I created. Koti one lakh approval limit we have. Agree. How? How that logic is yeah, works out? I am not asking why it is accepting for purchase order. The accepting for Koti for purchase order. I agree. How? Hmm. We are saying job to job to employee. We assign job to employee. The, the same point we discuss. Approval group level we given the limit. Okay, limit we assign to job. Job, job we assign to employee. When employee is performing, system will see this employee has which job it will verify for job level. What is the limit? It will see. That's how we given one lakh limit for Koti. Nowhere, uh, no one can return like uh, directly <coughs> to employ this. Through job, we given. How through job? Job level is given. Mention some amount? No. In the approval group, you mention that <coughs> approval group level limit you assign to job. So that is applicable for that job. That job you assign to anyone, the same limit is applicable. That's how we given for Koti one lakh. Okay. So that's how it got approved, right? Yeah. Now from here you can open the same if you want to see. Same purchase order you can open from here. Click on open, the same PO will, op will be open from here. Anyway, it's approved, that is required for us. Okay. Now directly we'll jump into invoice creation. If you want to create receipts and all, you can create it, not an issue. But uh, for our testing, that is not required. Anyway, receipt creation already we have seen. Again, we'll be doing the receipt creations and all. In the current scenario, I'm just going with the direct invoice creation. Let's go and create the invoice as we discussed. We have some cases here, right? Which batch? Same batch. We started earlier. So done. <coughs> so oh, clear, right? Yes. So now we have to we'll test by taking this case. Okay, create invoice with 50,000. 50,000. And we'll match that with fewer number two. This also will match with the PO number two. two. So in the PO level, we have ten percent. Fifty thousand means ten percent, five thousand. It will get detected as a retainage amount. We'll see that. So create purchase or so sorry, create purchase invoice matching with PO, which PO complex PO. Generally, you can call a standard PO, not an issue. Process wise, since we are providing some additional information, which is related to contracting. Okay. So we can call it as a complex. Complex means it's a more information, <coughs> additional information, which will support for this kind of business scenarios. So close, close, switch to tables. Tables. So see, immediate answers are very much valid. Remember, invoices, entry, invoices. Just provide PO number. PO number is two. two. Then tab out. It will fetch the supplier information, right? Just capturing the supplier and do supplier number. Site. If you want to change, you can change the site. Invoice date. If you want to enter specific date, invoice printed date or invoice received date, whatever you can enter. Otherwise, just tab out. It will take the today's date automatically. Tab out. And invoice number. Just you make your region 10 invoice number 
Division 10 I am giving. An invoice amount? 50,000. 50, so it's just we have a contract. For now, supplier is given the invoice only for 50,000. Okay. <coughs> now this invoice we have to match with? <coughs> PO. Do you want to use distribution set? Yes. Sorry? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? Yes, or matching you are using means you are not on work talking about oracle payables. So I don't know how many times we have to discuss. Very confident some people uh, they have to match. Yes. So we are going to match with? When you are matching not required, right? When you match it will copy from the relevant document, right? We did. Okay. We did, right? Invoice, normal invoice we created, right? Three-way matching we created, right? At that time, did you select a distribution set? No, right? Any matching, even correction also. Debit memo, credit memo, correction. Do you require? No. So payment term, which payment term? Which payment terms we have to choose? Any payment term. Yes, that depends. Okay, but not, it's not like uh, immediate and all. Okay, there is no thing. <coughs> Which payment method we have to use? Don't say blind answer, please. Which payment method we have to use? Check. Why? Answer should be how we are going to make the payment to supplier that payment method. That is the point, right? Yes. Which payment method you have to, we have to use in the sense? How we are going to make the payment to the supplier, that payment method. If you are going to make the payment through check, you will check. Cash means cash. Electronic means electronic. Wire means wire. Whatever the method. That is the concept. Okay. Fine. Now what we have to do next? You know how to match, right? Now tell me. We have to go to? Lines. Who are going to lines? Don't mind, please, for my all nonsense uh, questions. We have to go to lines, right? Lines means no, there is nothing. We have to directly go to match. Lines will be copied, right? That's the reason you should know. No, you should not go. Then click on. And already system is defaulting the PO number from from. Don't show a hand. Don't show a hand, please. Uh, from header level. Click on file. <coughs> then just enable match. Enable match. So read the message. The system will take the payment term from supplier side if anything is there. Make sure that what are the payment terms you want to use, use that. That's it. So how much amount? Why it is taking one lakh? One lakh we have within the PO. That is, but we want to create invoice by matching only for so update to fifty. See here, invoice amount is fifty, but line amount, line amount all it is coming from PO. So we want to match up to fifty thousand. Then click on match or save. Anything, two actions are equal. You can save, then it will be uh, the matching will be conducted. Or else click on match, the match action system will initiate. Okay. Any confusion or doubt, please. Click on match. See here, the summary under general tab. See the summary. Actual amount is 50,000, retinage is 5,000, subtotal, whatever we have to pay to supplier as of now is 45, the same it is shown. <coughs> okay. Now what we have to do? Validate it. General cases, what is accounting entry? Can you create invoice? I'm sorry, general case, what is accounting entry means final. Accounting entry asked how to create accounting and ask, please. 
expense debit and liability which expense can be any expense whatever the account you enter that accounts will be debited just as a simple uh, term you are using expense debit and liability credit when you match and create again that accounting will be different generally that comes under accruals it can be inventory accruals or expense accruals that will be discussed in detail level when you see the process and accounting entries okay simple point is expense debit and uh, liability credit but now in the current scenario we have a retainage also right now we'll see the account Okay, just give me one second. There is another session going on. Fine. <clears throat> so now see the accounting entry from where to find the accounting tools. Tools, huh? Go to reports. Tools from the for payment. Payment level, we don't find reports. Okay, reports. We are counting. So here, system has to include retainage also. Retainage amount is we are going to hold. Okay, that's a liability for us, but we are going to hold it. See the accounting entry. <coughs> How system is taking accounting entry? Expense account is debiting 50 and retinage amount is 5000. Okay, and the liability is 50,000. Okay, this is how just it is taking. Okay, so basically, here I think in this some um, modifications are done in the system that's reason, otherwise, two liability accounts those are not just equal, only this is it supporting separately. See this expense account 50 and this liability account 50 and this retinage account liability is 5000 under this retinage account is credit you take in this way it will better understand normal invoice this is an accounting entry since additional point we have a, a retinage for retinage it is representing separately but this will be this amount will be subtracted from 50 only that will be holded from this only right so that is the point we have to understand. Now, for your simple understanding, I'll give you the point here. <coughs> Normal invoice, this is accounting entry. If you have retinage, what we have to do? The retinage amount, whatever we have, that amount will get debited. Your liability and retinage account will be credited. That is the point. Once you make the payment for this, retinage account will be debited. It will be reversed and cash will be Pay. If you are using the bank statement reconciliation, instead of cash, cash clearing will come into the picture. At the time of accounting interest, we'll discuss that detail level. Okay. Just remember, in this case, this this uh, uh, there will be accounting for retinage also. This separate additional line. That's all. Okay. Done. Now, if you want to make the payment for this invoice, how much you can pay? Forty-five only. Just let's test it. Go to actions, say painful, say OK. And to provide payment date. System will default the amount. See here, 45 only. Because 5000 will be holding. Bank account is? Call fees. Rest of information, we know very well how to enter this. Call free, check, right? Last one. Then you have to Same. tell me Same. only you are huh? others. <coughs> Next, what we have to do? Save Just save it. That's all. The same I am asking. We have to save or something else. Just I want to hear from you. Just save it because we selected invoice and we navigated to payment workbench again. You know to select any invoice by just taking the navigation to enter or adjust. Now you can perform the accounting for this invoice. <laughs> Done. Okay. So this is how just you can see that if you refresh, you can see the status as a 45,000 is paid. Okay. Now we'll create one more invoice. Okay. We'll just create one more invoice. So 
So again, you have to match with PO. PO number two. two. Voice number is Fusion 11. Amount is 3000. Match action is want to match with the purchase order. Payment term, whatever the payment term you want to use. So let's use the same immediate which is defaulting instead of whatever we created, not an issue. Now we have to go with the match. match. And click on find. The remaining amount will get defaulted once you enable it. 50 only. Yes. Then say match. match. Here also it will reduce 10%. Right? Then validate and account and make the payment. Just you can go with the painful option if it's falling under due date. Same Just provide on which date you are processing this payment. So, bank call free bank and payment document you have to provide it. The last record, right? Already we have seen this. We just Call free will be in the last record. So, okay, and now save it. This will be recorded as a payment. We are paying only 45. 45 actual amount is 50, 45 because we hold it 5,000, 5, 5, nothing but 10 percent from this. Now, okay, we're done with the complete process. Now, say for example, we conducted some auditing uh, in our company for the work which is delivered by client. So, we verified and we found that everything went well as expected now there is no issue with the work now we we just we are we are going to release that amount whatever we hold it from two invoices for that what invoice type you have to create let me release let's see how to do that so say create written release invoice create written release invoice same navigation okay Retina is release invoice. So invoices, entry, invoices. Select invoice type as retina. Select invoice type as retina release. Okay, supplier is for which supplier related holded amount you want to release? Fusion organization invoice number or a recognized release one. How much amount you want to? I'm sorry, I forgot. So you are going to release that amount against the invoices, right? We have a two invoices for two invoices, we have 5000, 5000. Okay. For 2000, two invoices, 5000, 5000, and what base we hold it based on the PO, right? So, for that reason, here also you have to use your PO number. Select PO number 2, then it will default. Now you can go ahead. Fitness release 1. Okay. System can understand against this PO, how many invoices are created. From those many invoices, how many you created? Two. It system can understand. From two invoices, how much amount is already hold it? That system can understand now. Okay. Now, okay. You know, like uh, how much is hold it? 10,000. Right? How much you want to release now? It can be 10,000 or else it can be partial amount also. That's up to how the business uh, terms are running. Okay. So, let's release 10. Fine. So we are going to match with the change release. Also, you have to match with the PO, otherwise, the system cannot understand against that PO how many invoices you created across the all the invoices, how much amount is holded. It cannot understand. Otherwise, if you are not matching with the PO, whatever the amount you hold it, it may be 10,000, 
but your accountant may be very much interested to pay 20,000. Right? No control. Then company has to be closed. Okay. So that is the reason always you have to cross check. So match action should be purchase order. Now rest of information same. You may use immediate or anything. How the so since you are going to pay now only, just you can go with immediate. If you are going to pay after one week for the whatever the amount you are holding to release, you can go with the relevant payment term. Then click on match. Now system will display how much amount is holded against this PO by creating one or multiple invoices. invoices. That is the point. And one more point here, I just there will be one more additional field in this case. Go to extreme end. Put value at zero, otherwise it won't uh, respond. Okay, tax related amount, release amount, net of tax. So it, at least Jawarakil should have given some prompt pop up saying that please enter that uh, field and all, but it's not working. There is no okay, that kind of prompt they given. But you remember that. See, without giving this, if you are clicking on match, it won't respond and it won't tell you something. Okay, you have to scroll and see that. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll keep clicking on match only. You may create one more invoice. Okay. But it won't work. It, you have to make sure that you've given some value here. Put zero. Now click on match. It will respond. At least there should be some validation saying that so and so field is missing. Right. That is not there. Fine. <clears throat> Purchase order number. Two. 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 Line number is not required. If you have multiple lines, you may give the line but we have only one line one line you may give that same but not mandatory now click on fine fine system already showing release amount remaining 10 if this 10,000 how it is taken against this PO we created two invoices from the two invoice how much amount is retained that amount already fetched system fetching that amount to the specific PO so now select here Okay, don't worry about that message. Don't read it. Okay, enable that. So by default system is taking 10,000. If you want to release only 2,000, update to 2,000. Sorry. And if you click on release, 2,000 only will be released. Later again, you can release 8,000. But anyway, let's release 10,000. Okay. Just... Release amount you can select 10,000. Now click on release. release. Done. See here, lines are created. If you go to lines, you can see that. When you match, it's the system will be creating the lines automatically by matching the respective document. If it's a PO from PO. See here. Because two invoices we created, right? The same here it created as a Two lines. two lines. Okay. PO is same, right? Again, so one PO we created two invoices. invoices. The same it is just displaying here. Okay. So this is a more detailed information. Whatever you want to see, you can see. Okay. That's all about uh, retinase release concept. Now we created. Now what we have to do? We created retinase release invoice. Now we have to validate. validate. Then, if required, you can perform the accounting. In the end of the day, accounting is mandatory, but for the payment purpose, it's not mandatory. Okay, if you don't create accounting for invoice, if you try to create accounting for payment, it won't accept the sequence you have to follow. First, you, have, you should create accounting for invoice, then only system will accept accounting for payment. Validated. If you want to make the payment for this, yes, payment. you can pay in full or else directly you can go to payment workbench. You can select and you can make the payment. See, it's very simple. By default, system is selecting payment type as quick. And if you want to make the payment, you are writing this for 10,000, you are writing the manual check. In that case, select as manual. manual. So you cannot print it. Other than that, there is no big difference you have to understand. The logic concept you have to understand. If you select manual also, you have to select the bank account and all, all those things you have to select. Okay. Anything you can take. Okay. You can make the manual payment or else you may print the check from system. Anything will be fine. Because we didn't touch that point. That is the reason I'm just including that. 
how to make the manual payment just only the point is you will be selecting type as manual okay rest of process remains same here bank account is <coughs> call free bank account <coughs> then save. save done so payment is process now we are testing how to give the manual payment that means we are recording this is I think already we process the check we written and we given physical check to the supplier without printing from system that's all only that difference is the selection that to based on the how you are handling the process okay done so this is all about Retina release concept clear, right? Any doubts or confusion? Tell me. But you are not at all preparing. Well, frankly speaking, you are not preparing. You are, you are not at all answering to anything, many people, except one or two. Fine, done. Now we're done with this process. Clear, right? So, in which scenario we'll be using? This is what we have to understand. We're done with all these. Okay. So we tested all this, right? And only payment request when you are working on air only we can see this. Okay. So transportation was through manual process, you cannot create some integration point of your third party or other non other oracle product to integration. You can create the transportation invoice to capture your transport related expense or transport related information. That's especially expense only. So now this we cannot do in the papers, just they given for that purpose. Done. So these are the different type of invoices we have. All almost so we covered. This we can handle from receivable. This we cannot do anything. And when you talk about payment types, manually just now manual payments just now we tested almost all the payments we issued as a quick only. And uh, refund and your APR netting when you are working on receivables application you can see that. Okay. When you are working receivables you can see. And when you talk about refund, as yes, refund will be covering in payables only. Now we have many other concepts which are part of receivables, sorry, payables to understand along with these invoice types and payments. I'll just I'm going to list out all those. Just make a note. Okay, first I'll give you all the other concepts what we have in the payables. Then we'll talk about it theoretically. We'll try to understand which, which business scenario, which concept we'll be using. Then we can start working on the system, which setups required, what process involved, everything we'll be discussing very detailed. Okay take those other invoice uh, see invoice types and payment types also concepts in ap other than that some additional concepts ap concepts additional concepts take as moac Multi org access control, MOAC, we call as MOAC. Multi org access control. Say third party payments. So zero payments. And the supplier or employee. Refunds. And how to handle the petty cash system or process anything we can call foreign currency invoice and payments Supplier match APR netting will see from receivable side. And holds concept. Holds and releases. Pay groups, lookups, say reports, the 
invoice batch payment so so it just concept that will future is payment manager from that you can perform you can process payment process request okay invoice batch and payment process request this simply you call as ppr talk about p2p account entries and finally payables account entries and ap base tables ap interfaces under tables means interface table under tables means interface tables and key reports major reports in key reports in ap tables okay key reports in tables Okay, these are the concepts. Okay, there could be some few more uh, miscellaneous concepts that also I'll be covering when you are working. Okay, I'll be adding maybe three, four additional also will be getting into this. List. Okay, these are the concepts which we should aware. Sorry. Okay, so MOAC third-party payments and uh, zero payments supplies and supplier are employee refunds. How to handle petty cash system? How we can handle? And how to process the foreign currency invoice and payments, supplier merge, how to perform, how to manage with the holds, and the pay group concept, lookup circuit codes, both are same. <coughs> lookup circuit codes, both are same. What exactly will be understanding? Then you can take into more detail. And invoice batches, how to process invoices through batch and payment manager. Basically, this is the term we'll be using. Payment process request. Even if you call it as a payment batch, also nothing wrong. Okay, payment batch, nothing wrong. Just here. Uh, P2P accounting interest we'll see, and the payables accounting interest for each and every transaction which you create, what will be the accounting? Everything we'll see, and what are the base tables we have in payables? What are the data will get stored when you record the invoice or payments or suppliers? And AP interface, what is the meaning of interface? We'll be discussing detail level, and what are the tables involved? What, how these two tables are different, and many things we'll be discussing. Then key reports in payables, and what is the purpose? We'll go through it. Okay, before we start with the concepts. There are few concepts left in with the purchasing integration. Okay, purchasing we discuss very few basic things, right? Basic points. From purchasing side, what we'll do? We'll be just working on these concepts. I'll just give you a list. Okay, from purchasing what we'll do? So just we have seen the process how to create the requisition, how to convert the requisition to purchase order automatically based on the purchase order. How to create the receipt? Okay, with the help of this information, how to create the invoice by matching that to three-way matching, right? Just now we discussed about two-way matching also, right? And so now we have to see four-way matching. So pending concepts. When you talk about payables and purchasing integration, four-way matching. We'll see like where we'll do the inspection and all that kind of activities also we'll do, and we have to see. Purchase returns. And the separate concept we have called as pay and receipt concept. The same you can call as self billing or you can call as uh, ERS. ERS stands for evaluated receipt settlement. ERS stands for evaluated, evaluated receipt settlement. ERS, or else you can say 
auto invoice in AP you can say but basically auto invoice is a concept very normally we use for receivables but here this concept you can compare with that so auto invoice this is all are same just we use different different names for that all are same you can pay on the seat or sell billing we'll discuss first take the concept names then I'll explain what is the business scenario what is the advantage of that everything we'll discuss the same will be doing the required setups and we'll be testing the process okay this uh, pay on the seat and we'll see how to create the manual purchase orders and here when you are creating the manual purchase orders then we'll test the functionality like earlier we did the setups if uh, some buyer is going to create some PO if that is not within the limit of that buyer it has to route it to <coughs> supervisor that also will be testing now we have a as employee as a Koti what we'll do we'll create the purchase order with more than one lakh that has to be routed to his supervisor how the supervisor will be approving how that information will get updated how the process can be done the all points we'll see okay so another point we have to understand receipt routings already we tested standard, standard receipt routing only right standard receipt routing remaining we have two direct delivery and do inspection required when you say inspection required definitely that we should touch in the four way match four way matching if there is no inspection there is no meaning of four way matching right yes. that will be touching and other point is only we have to see direct delivery how that can be handled okay so these are the concepts pending when you talk about PO and AP integrations the process connectivity related processes okay so this and all we'll be discussing <coughs> so for matching means we know like we'll be creating the uh, PO we'll have a PO we'll have a receipt and we'll perform the inspection then when you create invoice the invoice will be cross-checked with the PO information supplier invoice information supplier info information will consider as one document and purchase order another document from purchase order order price and do order quantity will take into consideration when you talk about receipt received quantity and you talk about inspection accepted quantity okay when you talk about invoice invoice to quantity and do invoice price all these components will take into consideration to create the so invoice through four way matching that means invoice we are going to create based on PO receipt and inspection related document that's how we'll be creating when you do the inspection definitely that process should drive through four way, four way not four way like uh, what is the routing inspection, inspection, required. inspection required and inspection required only then inspection related activities can be processed done that's how we'll be doing and we talk about purchase returns okay if you say like I just say I purchase some item 10, 10 quantity I purchased after purchasing I just uh, uh, return two quantity whenever you perform this activity in the purchasing automatically system will create the debit memo in payables against the invoice whatever you created auto auto debit memo will be created that process will see detail it will take some example and will be doing in the system and the third one is four row matching means uh, we know already we discussed purchase returns means when you do the purchase returns for how much amount or for how much quantity you are doing the purchase returns based on that system will create debit, debit, debit moment payables that process only we call as purchase returns when you are testing in the system I'll give you the case I'll, I'll take say like this is a receipt amount receipt quantity we are going to return this much quantity and this is the invoice we have in the payables and uh, for return how much in uh, debit moment will be created for how much amount I'll give the example and we'll write in the spreadsheet the same will be doing in the system I'm going to talk about pay on receipt. What happens is in this process, invoice will be created in the payables automatically whenever you record the receipt in purchase. Got the point? When you create the receipt in purchasing, that receipt creation will generate the invoice in payables. Okay, that process only we call as pay on receipt. Means we are going to make the payment to supplier based on the receipt information. Not only just receipt will consider pure information also but there are some points I will explain you when you are going to do in the system okay I'll explain detail level we'll do that the same you can call a self billing reason normally this kind of concept when we can use if you are not going to wait for supplier invoice what are the supplier is going to send the invoice say you receive today you want to make the payment today but you not to receive the invoice from supplier even you receive or you may receive may not receive today 
but ultimately you will be paying on what base on the reset base <coughs> on the reset base only it's not like on supplier base always supplier invoice base you received 10 point a day if you get supplier uh, invoice from supplier uh, 50 are you ready to pay no. ultimately your uh, the information you have to always refer based on the Receipt. what are your internal document which you prepared based on the transaction so that is the reason if there is some delay in the invoice uh, uh, invoice from the supplier you can take initiative from your side to create invoice automatically based on the transaction and you can make it that is the reason we are not going to wait for supplier invoice we are going to create invoice ourselves so that is the reason we are calling self, self billing the bill actually supplier will be billing us but here we are not going to wait we can create our own billing also based on the receipt and the po information remember okay receipt and po information that detail level i'll explain you when we are doing in the system the same you can call as ERS. ERS is one of the source name. Evaluated receipt settlement. Based on the receipt only, the settlement will happen. It's nothing but invoice creation. ERS is one of the source name. To create the invoice automatically in the payables by based on PO and receipt information, system will use the source called as ERS. Within the system, we have source called as ERS, the logic related source. That source only will help us to create the invoice automatically in the payables based on the receipt information. That with that name also you can refer this concept which you call as ERS. E stands for evaluated, R stands for receipt settlement. Based on the receipt, you are by doing some evaluation, okay, by doing some verification, evaluation, based on receipt, you are going to do the settlement. It's nothing but invoice creation. Settlement means here invoice creation, which will support for payment settlement. Okay, that is a concept. Other way you can call as auto invoice in AP. Generally, this term mostly we don't use. How you can create the invoice automatically in AP means this is the point you can refer. That's the reason I mentioned. It's just auto invoice term generally we don't use in AP. We have separate concept in ERS which we generally call as auto invoice when system will create automatic. Here also system is creating automatically, right? Yes. But Oracle kept uh, to avoid the confusion of this term, same term usage in the two applications. Just they given the name as pay and receipt. Pay and receipt is nothing but auto invoice creation only based on the receipt and the PO information. That we'll see detail level. Before that, I'll explain you a few more points. I'll give you a few more points. We'll take example and we'll do it. Another point is manual purchase manual order. Purchase. The previous sessions we have seen how to create the purchase order automatically based on the approved requisition information. Okay. Now in the next session, this session we'll see how to create the purchase order through manual process. Then we'll see how to, when if they are, if in the case of receipt routing method is, Direct delivery, uh, what is a simple practice, simple process we have to follow to receive the material and to place in the inventory that points we will be discussing more detail level. So this is all about it. Okay. <clears throat> so now what I'll do is, I'll what I'll do is, I will explain all these concepts now. Okay. I'll explain you all these concepts, what is the purpose and all. After explaining these, I'll take you through this detail level. Then first we'll complete these concepts. Then we can move to AP related concepts. This is what we'll be doing. Okay. I'm going to stop the recording now. Okay. Enough, right? All we all are here. Right? So, anyway, if you are something, people are coming late and all, we are recording this. It is not required. So, I'm going to stop the recording. We'll discuss now in the class.